Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to the Q&A segment of the Stain and Seal Show. We take your questions from all around the world on professional wood care. So whether it's maintenance, whether it's staining and sealing, whether it's preparation and wood restoration, we take all your questions and we answer them right here. So stay tuned, find out what the question of the day is. Next question, how do you deal with the weather forecast? Man, we don't deal with the weather forecast. We're stain contractors and weather is never our friend, or at least half the time. It is not our friend. When I came from the fence business, it didn't matter if it was raining, if it was snowing, if there was an asteroid shower, a volcano going on, it didn't matter. They wanted their fence built. It's raining, your guys aren't here, where's my fence? I can't wait. When I moved into the staining business, if I said, you know, I think it's gonna rain tomorrow, we're probably gonna postpone your job. The people were like, I completely understand. No problem. I want to make sure this is done right. We definitely don't want it to rain before we stain this. For whatever reason, people really understand that water with a lot of coatings could be bad. So they're usually very understanding when it comes to um, the fact that, hey, we may have to postpone because of weather. So that's a good thing. I always recommend you plan on staining, even if the forecast shows a chance of rain and call it off only when you're certain that it's going to rain. I used to call it off when there was like a 60% chance of rain. I would call the guys and I'd go, Hey, the clouds are not looking too good. Um, there's a pretty good chance of rain in Nashville. We're an hour outside of Nashville. We got to drive an hour. I didn't want to pay the guys. You know, I didn't want to take the chance in half the time. It wouldn't even rain. So I lost today and the other half of the time it wouldn't rain today. And so I would sit at home all day, not doing anything, not making any money. My team members weren't making any money. And then the next day we would load up to go do it and it would rain. So we lose two days, three days, maybe four days because of the rain. So what we decided to do a long time ago was we are riding. If, unless it's just obviously raining, we're going to go, do the job and today i will even send a crew out i will send three crews out the door with an 80 percent chance of rain if it hasn't started raining yet the customer says it hasn't rained says it's kind of iffy i don't you know it might rain but i don't know i'm sending the trucks to nashville we're going to go stain if they get all the way to nashville and it starts raining or if they get halfway there and it starts raining i'm willing to take the loss but for me it's better than leaving them at home and then it doesn't rain and so that's a choice some of you guys have got to make. So I recommend always plan on getting the job done. And I tell my customers that we, we say, hey, we plan to stain. You know, if it rains 30 minutes after we stain the fence, it's rain safe. It's OK. So you got to let your customers know those things. But we're going for it. You know, obviously with decking, you want to take maybe a little less chance. Um, you want to give a deck a little more time to dry, maybe 24 hours before rain. Man, if there's a if there's a little gray cloud in the sky and the weatherman said it might rain, that's no reason to call it off. You got to see it. You got to see it to believe it, right? So, uh, spend some time studying that. Maybe maybe that'll help you be a little more productive in your stain business this next year. My name's Caleb Roth. I'm the founder of Stain and Seal Experts, Nashville's professional wood care contractor. And we love sharing our tips and tricks with you that we've learned along the way. So please stay tuned and subscribe if you like what we're doing.